Hey guys, it's City Tutorials here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all of your icons compatible with your iPod Touches or iPhone 4's Retina screen. So basically, if you have any uh, icons that are not retinized, that means that this application or this method of retinizing them all will make all the icons fully retina display so if you have any of those ugly looking icons that really don't show um, HD feel or in a retina feel now with this tweak you can actually enable that to look exactly just like any other retina icon so you're gonna obviously have to have a city or a jailbroken device with city installed of course and you're gonna need three different things the first one is going to be called Erica Utilities so you're gonna wanna search Erica and then you'll find Erica Utilities right there. It's from the Big Boss repo, or no, it's from my my mod my eye source. So you can just get straight from there. And the next thing you want to go, you're gonna want to search for is I Retina, and that's also from the mod my eye source. So you're gonna want to download that and install as well. And the last thing you're gonna want to do is install Mobile Terminal. And now this is the tricky part. You may have a couple different ones. You may only have one. Now what I find is with this mobile terminal from I don't I don't really know what source this is, but from the original mobile terminal, if you download this and you're running on 4.x, that means that it's going to crash almost every single time when you try to open it up. Now some users aren't experiencing this, but I know I was. So if you do download this mobile mobile terminal right here and everything works fine that's perfectly good but if you download that one and you respring and it keeps crashing you just uninstall it and then add the Excelize repo and then add mobile terminal iOS 4 this is the one that will definitely work for you and then the other one uh, it's kind of a risk taker so I recommend just taking this one right here this one will definitely work if you're running on 4.x so once you have all three of those you're gonna wanna exit and you're gonna wanna open it up it should look something like this so you open up mobile terminal and it's going to give you something like this here and then you're going to want to type in S U return password is alpine A L P I N E return again and then when you get this you're going to want to type in I retina just like that that's how it's spelled I retina return again and now it's gonna give you a couple different options here it's gonna give you one to put all your icons to be retina or retina displayed uh, two to revert to the original icons three to remove the batched icons from my retina and four to display the help screen or zero to exit this so uh, basically you're just gonna to wanna to click one and then it's gonna ask you uh, to confirm it you wanna click yes and then it's going to put all of your icons into a retina, uh, retina state so now when it says done all you have to do is click yes to respring and I'll be right back when it finishes respringing so once it's finished respringing fully you should have all of your icons fully retinized and everything should look absolutely beautiful now the only downside with this is is that well, uh, the actual app itself will not be fully retinized so if the app is not fully retinized for the iPhone 4 or iPod Touch 4 it's not going to be looking uh, with the retina display inside the actual app it's just the icon itself and this will also not work with any Cydia applications as you can see mobile terminal is not fully retinized that focused a little bit and there you guys can go it's not uh, in a retina state either so this will only work for App Store apps uh, for at this moment so hopefully this tutorial help you guys out uh, I know it kind of was a little bit tricky and there are a little things that you need to go through to actually make this fully compatible so hopefully you did uh, enjoy the video and I hopefully you guys do uh, benefit from this if you did please give me a quick like thumbs up rating down there that really helps me out and if you're not a subscriber definitely you want to subscribe for some great videos and that's about it guys hopefully uh, you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video